Big Dreams Homestead and after the shower build um, my sciatica flared up I was in really really bad shape um, so I haven't got much done since then I am today still kind of doing light duty because my back and sciatica are still bothering me but um, so today what I'm going to do, I have no lights outside here. So I have purchased a couple of solar lights. One of them I'm going to put on the shower for just for temporary for now. And just to kind of help light up things over there. Not that I'm going to be taking showers outside in the dark. But uh, in case I need to see in there after dark, uh, it's going to be getting darker sooner here. So I want to go ahead and get that taken care of. I have another solar floodlight that I want to put up um, on the corner of the house, except for I'm looking over at the corner and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it uh, put up there now, but it was just going to be put up uh, temporarily until I get the covered patio done and then it'll go on the edge of that, that covered patio. And then I also have a light that I want to put up, um, a hardwired light. Uh, outdoor light for the back porch here. So I'm going to start with the, lo the solar lights and see how far I get and I'll kind of show you what's going on with the porch and why I uh, am thinking I might not get to that today. It's already about 3.30 in the afternoon so um, I don't know how much going up and down the ladder my back is going to take today. So let me show you what I got going on here. Okay, on the porch, you can see this is the back porch and part of the metal is peeled away. So I'll have to straighten that out, but there is also no support um, on the inside or the outside. There is no support at all. There is just the metal. And I don't like that idea and I'd rather have like a wooden piece on both sides um, attached to each other and then caulk all the way around it and then put the light up so re-drill the hole through some wood and just kind of make it a little bit more stable than what it is right now um, it's not that I have a really super heavy light but I still don't like the way that that metal looks so I'd rather have a more secure waterproof way of installing the light so um, let me see what I can come up with. I know I have some boards here, but I don't know if I have any boards that I want to use to uh, use on the outside. On the inside, it'll be inside the wall, so it won't make a difference. But on the outside, it might make a bit of a difference. So I will look around and see what I can find. And it could also just be temporary until I get some better wood to put up there. But for now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put up the solar lights, so hang tight.
Okay, so after going up and down those two ladders, uh, that is all that I'm going to put my back through today because it's already hurting. <laughs> but I will get to the porch light soon. Now you can't see that in here. Let's see, the porch light is going to go there. For now, I put the solar light right above where I'm cooking at night because uh, my cooking facilities for right now is a Blackstone grill outside or I have a camp stove and until I redo the kitchen. So the first um, one that I put up, the it's called a Bell and Howell Bionic Floodlight. It says 108 high intensity LED, LED bulbs. It's motion activated, but you can also turn off the motion activation. It also has a um, remote control. So if I'm planning on coming home after dark, I can always hit the remote control in my car and uh, turn it on from there so I could see to get in the door. But this is the one I got for there. And I have been using this outdoors um, for a while. It just wasn't hung up. It was just sitting on my potting bench there. And I'm really liking it. I'm really uh, impressed with the amount of light that it puts off and the uh, motion activation works every single time I go outside. So that's good. This one I got at Lowe's. It was, I believe, $29.99. The second light that I put in, in the shower, I put it in the shower because it's literally a piece of junk. I'm not impressed with the light at all, but I bought it so long ago at Walmart. I believe it was $20. I want to say it was between $20 and $30, but this one is called Hyper Tough um, LED Security Light. And it does light up sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. So it's like the motion activator on it isn't always uh, wanting to work. And, um, I mean, even if it was right outside the porch and I was walking right past it, it wasn't um, turning on. This one says it's 500 lumens um, and it's also wired to the um, solar panel. And so, you know, if I get winds or whatever, they're going to pull on that wire. I don't know how long it'll last for. It was also, the bracket was very cheaply made, so I have a feeling that the first windstorm that comes through or a branch that touches it, it's gonna come down. So, no big deal. It's, I had bought it so long ago at Walmart. Uh, it was probably back in March when I first got here, and um, it uh, it's too late to return it, so I will just go ahead and use it for now, and it'll last as long as it lasts. But this Bionic Floodlight, I am really impressed with this one. So if you're looking for a solar uh, motion uh, floodlight for outside, I would definitely recommend that one. I plan on getting another one for the front of the house so that I can um, see to get in and out the front door um, or just have a light out there in case something's outside. I will have switch... Um, Golly, where'd my words go? <laughs> I will have hardwired uh, porch lights for both the front and the back. The back light will be a flood light. The front light will be just a little lantern, you know, decorative lantern porch light. But, um, and I've already purchased the one for the back door. I've not decided on one for the front door yet. Um, so I just gave up looking and and didn't buy one yet, but eventually I'll find one. I just want something cheap and, you know, that puts out a light. So, um, and those will be activated by a switch on the inside, but I believe the one that I bought for the outside is a floodlight that's also motion or it can work off of the switch. So, um, like I said, probably tomorrow I will get up there, put some wood where that one is gonna go and uh, just give it better bracing on the backside. The front side might be okay, but the back side, I'd rather just have more bracing there uh, to hold it. So I'll do that on the inside wall and then um, video that when I do it. It'll probably just be a quick short video. And other than that, that is it for now. I will continue to video my progress. So if you like what you see and you want to follow along, please click the subscribe the subscribe below. <laughs>
and then click the bell and the that will turn on notifications so you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Um, I'm really bad about telling people to subscribe or to click the bell so uh, but that does also help out my channel a lot so if you do that or if you share it out that helps a ton and I much appreciate it. I will check in with you guys soon with the next task on the